floor now to Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative. Thank you, Madam Vice President. This statement is read in partnership with the Fiji CSO UPR Working Group. We commend the government's acceptance of the 207 recommendations out of the 242 received. We urge government to implement recommendations concerning the promotion and protection of the rights of the child, including the ratification of the optional protocol to the CRC and finalizing the adoption of the National Action Plan. We strongly recommend that the government develops a national strategy to address violence, discrimination and hate crimes against the LGBTQI community and to increase budgetary allocation towards strengthening participation of marginalized communities including persons with disabilities in times of natural disasters. We want a Fiji that guarantees fundamental freedoms and respect for journalists and human rights defenders. This includes recasting all laws restricting freedoms of expression, peaceful assembly and association such as the Media Industry Development Act, Public Order Amendment Act and sedation provisions under the Crimes Act. We want government to commit to mitigating impacts of extractive mining through monitoring policy implementation, specifically the environmental impact assessment. This effectively provides environmental, social and economic safeguards for impacted communities. Government has reaffirmed its support to create a national mechanism for reporting, implementation and follow-up of human rights recommendations and we anticipate civil society involvement. We look forward to government's commitment to implement the accepted recommendations. Thank you.